right, this is WWG Whipping with Joe. Anyway, got this box yesterday. And guess what? It's from Okuma. Okuma, Okuma. Check this guy out there, Okuma. Okuma, Okuma. ITX 4000, number one, and then the Seagulls. This is the newest one in the box. This is the other newest one in the box. This is, I guess, called 2020 or 2019, or I guess 2020 or 2021. Anyway, <coughs> if you look at this box here, this is the ITX. This one uh, weighs in at 10 ounces, 6 to 1 ratio, 27 inches per crank, and I put in 180 cranks. So that's about, good. this is about 190 yards of 40 pound braid in this guy here. And uh, it's got 22 pounds of drag. 22 pounds of drag. Anyway, um, I use this one here for 43 hours and uh, most reels would have failed by 43, but when I had um, hour 43, it, it was hard to crank and uh, cranking rough, <clears throat> so I sent it in, and that was back in December of last year. And then, then I got it back, and uh, what had happened was they um, they didn't have parts for it. You know, it's pretty interesting because it was a brand new reel; they didn't have a parts to it. So. Um, this is a brand new one, but we're gonna open this guy here. We're gonna open this guy here. Uh, so I can tell you the story about this guy here. But anyway, it's a beautiful reel, by the way. So anyway, what happened was, when I sent the reel in, if you notice, this is one that way like that. So, Six one eight four seven two thousand twenty one. It's twenty twenty one. This is a new 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 in the wing. This is a new 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 guy. <laughs> twenty twenty one. It says it was made this year. Uh, probably one hundred eighty four date. Something like that. Anyway, uh, what happened was it was cranking rough. So when I get it back, this is what happened. I had a different knob, different handle. And the handle was one of those where you go all the way through and not so very, and, I, and, and that, that's what they did. Why is because they, so they had to replace either the gearing in here that was bad. Because like I said, when I got it back, I got a new handle that goes right through the body and not so here. So this one here does not go through the body, it's directly to the gear. That's the difference between this one here and when they repaired it. And that was December of last year. But anyway, and they told me all this year I didn't have the part, this kind of stuff. So anyway, so you remember this is screws in. This is the OEM one. The one that was sending for repair, they sent it back to me because they didn't have the part to repair. So it took me almost a year to get me a brand new one. But they did send me a new one. So, I'm not going to field test this guy here. It's, it's one of the reels I would recommend. Because uh, I was popping two ounce lures and uh, it's a beautiful reel. I wish the drag was louder though. And I was like louder drag, this me. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I got the reel back. So we thank you, Okuma. And guess what? Though? We got two spools now. I like that. Well, when Daiwa did it, Daiwa didn't. Daiwa didn't send me. <laughs> they sent me an old spool back on there. They did it to me twice. But anyway, here, I'm glad they just do that. Now I got two. So, I've got this ITX here. That if you want to purchase, because I'm, I'm done field testing this guy. I've got two spools to it. This one has already got 40 pound braid. About 190 cranks in the guy. But anyway, you can um, message me in my description box. So, Mahalo's. For Okuma, and I think I've like field tested 15. This might be the 15 one. Okay, so now we're gonna go to this other guy, which is the Sejos. The Sejos is uh, uh, let's see what, what year is this guy. Is. I think it's 2021 model. This is a code near 46. Yeah, this is made in 2021. Yeah, made in 2021. The third month, March of 21, this is when it was made. 
and uh, I use it. By the way, I, I I like this guy here because I like the ball. Very easy to crank. Now, anyway, it failed. Ooh, 27 hours. It was hard to crank at 27 hours. So I sent it in, and it took a long time to get back. I mean, they what they did supposedly was they told me that they had braid that was stuck under the spool, so it was hard to crank. And, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but they lubed it, you can see the lube here, but they lubed and serviced the reel and they replaced the roll of bearing, that's what they did for 20, in, 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 in about 20 or 23 hours, I think it's 23 hours or 27 hours, I guess. let's see what the log is, I think, uh, I don't know, it's, it's probably 23 or 27 hours before failure. But it took a long time to get back, like a two weeks, I think, stuck in California for two weeks because of the shipping, so if you get one of these reels, and you know, you best to get two of them. So if it fails, then you can go and fish anyway. But this is 14 ounces, <clears throat> so it's 4 ounces heavier than that one there. And this is made for salt water too and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, it's 5.8 to 1 ratio. It's 40 inches per crank. And I've got 230 cranks. So I got like two, over 200 yards of 40 pound braid in this guy. But, uh, anyway, so I got it back, and I'm going to go test it again. It's got 33 pounds of drag. I think you can hear that. It's not really smooth, smooth. You know, and, you know hopefully that the um we'll see what happens though. But I, like, you can feel like roller bearings, you can feel like bearings. I'm not sure, but may, maybe uh we just gotta go and play with it a little bit and see what happens. But so anyway, so we're gonna go and Go and uh, go and do more cranking with this one here. Or uh, well maybe I'll just uh, I'll turn around and uh, put it up for sale. But we'll see. Anyway, if you're interested in this guy, CJ 6000H, got him on Kawaii. Anyway, I'm going to put this away here. And uh, so I think we've done 16 Kukumas. And out of the 16, I think I've recommended five of them. Five Okumas. So, we thank you, Kuma, for the service. The vacuum service, just that the reshipping takes forever to come back. And so they got, I got two reels. This one here, the Cedros, and then I've got the brand new ITX, Okuma. That's it, so anyway, with two spoons. Again, WWJ, whipping with Joe. Okuma, Mahalos, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Aloha.